Well, the frozen chicken wings and chips and salsa just aren't going to cut it for you this year's Super Bowl party. How about stepping it up a notch and really impressing your party guests? We're here with Paul Galvin and also Michael uh, Hernandez to join us here from Macaroni Grill on Tatum Boulevard to show us how to make stuffed mushrooms and then talk a little bit about the catering side as well. But let's start with the stuffed mushrooms sure. and what it takes because they look amazing, but they're pretty easy to make, huh? Very simple to make, great for Super Bowl parties. Um, it's one of our favorite appetizers in the restaurant. As you can see, we've already made some. Uh, I've got some filling here. It's really simple bulk Italian sausage, ricotta cheese, parsley, basil, shallots, uh, and garlic, as well as some uh, Parmesan cheese as well. Okay. And uh, I've gone ahead and already pre stuffed some of these. I didn't know if you wanted to get your hands dirty or not, right? Oh, no, but that's fine. In fact, I, I washed them. So, what uh, do you like a certain kind of mushroom? The, these this? are a cremini mushroom, and then we blanch them off for about a minute and a half. I Ice bath them so they get uh, so they stop that cooking process, but it gives a nice texture to the mushrooms. So when you fill them and then bake them off in the oven for about six to eight minutes, okay. um, they're going to come out nice and you know tender what? and easy to eat. Do you have any more of those gloves? I sure do. Somewhere. Okay. As we work on getting we that. All, all right. So you, you've got part. the mushroom. You take the 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 little middle part out. The stem. The stem. Yeah. The stem yeah. part out. And then what do you do with all the ingredients? Um, from the mushroom. Or the yes. stuffing, the, the mushroom that stem we just we discard. So the, we the stuffing stuff. If you don't have one of these really cool, like a little melon ball kind of you guy, you could use a spoon. It doesn't have to be high tech or anything. Okay. Just make it simple, non-threatening. Yeah. Okay. You just scoop this scoop. up. Yeah. Just and is this what all this is? Just blended? No. This is separate ingredients for other dishes, but uh, this in the sausage mix, like I said, it's just bulk Italian sausage mm -hmm. pre-cooked. You have to cook this before you put it into ahead the mushroom. Time, right? Ahead okay. of time. Yes, absolutely. And then ricotta cheese, flat Italian parsley, um, and these are our toasted breadcrumbs. Uh, again, made ahead of time, makes it really simple and easy to make. Which, if you don't want to make at home, you just pick those up as a time. You can right absolutely time, make right? them yeah. ahead of okay. time. And if you don't have time for that, you can actually call us and we'll make them for you. <laughs> nice point. and easy. Good point. So you scoop it in there and then you put that in one of these little that, right. mushroom caps. Oh, you put that on quick. first. Yep. And there and you go. How That's long, simple. How long do you cook it? We're going to cook it about six to eight minutes in about a 375 degree oven. Are you basically just kind of warming it up? Or are you you're really pretty cooking? much are heating it up. It's okay. going to be nice and hot when it comes out. And then what you're going to want to do is um, you might want to check it before you, thank you, uh, before you put it in your mouth just to make sure you don't burn yourself. And just so you can see the difference, you see how it gets a little toasty yep, and, nice and toasty. kind of a darker brown color. And you know it's ready, huh? It is ready. All right. And then the other thing you have serving up is uh, We have our uh, bruschetta. Very easy to make. We took the liberty of pre-grilling it before the show today and then brushing with our olive oil. We also have uh, in here our very simple to make bruschetta salsa. It's uh, just Roman tomatoes, mm -hmm. basil, mm -hmm. shaved garlic, a little bit of olive oil, sea salt, and then our whipped ricotta cheese topped with some uh, fresh olive oil and fresh ground pepper. When you make this at home, you, you fold it over? Is that how you blend it all in? Ideally, you'd like to make it ahead of time so the flavors have an opportunity to bloom and blend together so you're going to get a nice flavor profile when you put it on your bruschetta. And um, again, too busy to make this? You can give us a call and we'll make Absolutely. it for you. And you know what? We'll talk about the catering service coming up after this commercial break. Macaroni Grill over at Desert Ridge Mall, and thank you all for being here. We made some amazing appetizers. Mm -hmm. We want to let you know, Michael Hernandez now telling us about the great catering uh, program that you guys have. Basically, what we have here is a couple of our signature dishes. This is the pasta Milano right here. This is the penny rustica. Feeds eight to ten people. Nice. You can order for pickup. It's great for delivery. We do also delivering. You also get bread with it. You get. Uh, Parmesan cheese, oil and pepper, we bring plates, basically bring the whole meal to you so you don't have to worry about doing anything. Clean up's easy, throw the plates away, you et just, cetera. You just saw Super Bowl Sunday for a lot of families <laughs> out there. Catering, See? we have Super Bowl Sunday, we have uh, Valentine's Day coming up. Perfect. Make your reservations now, everything's perfect, everything's great. We bring everything to you so you don't have to worry about cooking Perfect. anything. Wonderful. Thank you Thank very you much, guys. Michael. Thank you, Chef Paul. Appreciate Thank it. You.